G'day folks, Aaron here from 4x4 East Coast and uh, I finally got a lithium battery here she is here it's a Renogy smart lithium ion battery 100 amp hours uh, probably not much more you need to know except uh, let's open the box up get it out and see what we've got right yeah I haven't actually got the battery out of here yet so uh, let's see what we've got inside here. So we've got a little bag of goodies. Uh, there's a couple of battery terminal bolts. And there's a little back, uh, button thing and there's a couple of stickers. So it's packed in there pretty good. So we'll get the battery out. Now the idea of this is that I'm going to pull out the auxiliary battery. It's underneath the bonnet in my patrol. And um, we're going to mount this in the back somewhere. I'm going to rewire the whole lot, my whole auxiliary wiring. And um, hopefully we can get some good mileage out of this battery. So there's a little doobie lacquer here you pull back and um, one of these things is where this goes. Let me just look at the instructions and see which one's hot. Don't stuff it up! Right yeah, so after perusing the instructions, I think it goes in this first one. Let's have a look. So before we push this little button here, so it's lit up now. I don't know if you can see that. See the batteries. The little light on the end of that's lit up and that's actually a little switch. We'll test this battery and see what it's saying before we press the switch. So that's actually saying 2.9 volts before we push this button. And uh, we'll push this button, see what voltage it is and uh, we'll put it on the uh, on the charger that I've got and I'll come back and I'll do a capacity test on it. So here we go, we're going to press the button. You see there the, the lights come on a bit brighter and we'll give her another test and see what voltage it's saying. Right yeah, that's pretty good. That's saying 13.34 volts. I'll just go and grab my charger and we'll set her up. Alrighty, I've charged her up with the uh, Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger with uh, Bluetooth. Um, it's it's in. Uh, there's a little. Oops! I just pushed the button. It's in storage mode. It was in storage mode up until I just pushed the button. But we're going to turn it off anyway. Um, the battery is fully charged. It's actually been on that charger for a couple of days. So we're going to take it off this. I'm going to grab my capacity tester and we're going to test the capacity of this battery and see if it is 100 amp hours as they claim. This is the capacity tester I'm using. Uh, pretty crude looking thing, but um, from what I've seen, it works. Uh, my old mate Dino from the YouTube channel Efficient Self uh, put me onto this. Put me onto this thing. That's what he uses. Um, I'll put a link to his channel up in one of these corners, wherever wherever the corners, um, and go check his channel out. Pretty cool, pretty cool channel. Um, does a lot of um, battery testing, and um, uh, he's got a pretty good pretty good camper van that he's using at the moment. Um, so go go and check his channel out. Uh, pretty pretty good bloke too. Um, so. We're going to set up, we're going to set this up on here. It's the first time I've really used it, except for testing it. Um, and it'll take a couple of hours. So I'll go away and come back when it's finished and we'll give you the results. All right, uh, that's all done. I'll take, I can take, I don't need that. Again, I've got wires running everywhere. A little clamp, clamp him on there, and we'll clamp. 
clamp him on there. Radio will turn her on and up she comes. Why is there no voltage? Oh, radio, I'm back. It's been a couple of weeks. I couldn't get this bloody capacity tester to read the voltage. I tested it last week when I went to make a video of what this wasn't doing, what it was doing wrong uh, for the eBay seller. And then all of a sudden it started working again. Hopefully when I plug it in this time, it's gonna work. So here we go. Here is, I'm plugging it in. Now it's reading naught voltage again. All right, I'll come back to you. Many months later. Rightio, this has been a while in the making. Um, we're back. The original one of these um, capacity testers wasn't reading the voltage. See the voltage there, 13.4. Um, so, I couldn't do the test, it wouldn't let me run a test. So I've got, it took me a couple of weeks to get a new uh, capacity tester. The eBay seller um, sent me a new one after I sent him a video of it, the original one not working. So I didn't lose me money. I'm gonna do this capacity test and um, we'll get to see the results. Finally. Rightio, so I'll just um, try and remember how to use this. It's been a couple of weeks. So we'll do a 10 amp draw. We'll put it up to 15 hours. Rightio, I think our settings are right. We'll um, press the uh, button to start and uh, Bob's your uncle. Rightio, so we're all set up. We're going to um, click the start button. And away she goes. So we'll come back in a couple of hours time when this is finished and uh, see how she went. So rightio, it's now 10 hours and about 40 minutes later. And uh, she's the uh, test is complete. Now it's a little bit better than what I thought. You can see there it took 10 hours and 39 minutes. Capacity 106 amp hours. Uh, energy was uh, 1,395 watt hours. So if you have a look at the top of the battery, uh, the battery is a 100 amp hour battery with 1,280 watt hours. That's what they say it's rated to. So the test came out little bit better than expected uh, so if you're thinking of um, thinking of maybe buying one of these Renergy batteries I know uh, I know I've, I've heard stories that Renergy aren't too good with the old uh, customer service so just buy beware but it did turn out pretty bloody good with the test I'm pretty happy with that so uh, be good to find out after I've used it for a while I'll do a test in about six or eight months time and um, and see what the figures come out like then but anyway if you like the video give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and um, go and watch all my other videos alrighty catch you on the next video